Okay, so we learned a little bit last time about how views work. This time, we're going to learn about how we can extend our views just like we did with our models. So I'll go ahead and I'll create a new view constructor function. Remember, when I just do backbone.view, I automatically get all of the backbone view properties. In this case, I want to extend, using that underscore function, another object so basically I want to combine both objects, the backbone view plus my own special object, and I want to create you know, this view down here, var view. We'll call it view obj. We'll say new object. Uh, sorry, new view. So right now I'm not gonna get anything back except the backbone stuff. But uh, you know, the one thing that I want to say that's different is that in view unlike models, you have what's called an L property, okay? And uh, we can actually take a look at this. In fact, we'll just uh, leave it as an empty object and we'll console log our view. Watch. We'll run it. So if I go up here, I don't know if I can even see it. Well, here it is. There it is, the L. So right now it's pointing to an empty HTML div element. And by default, um, this L property here that comes with view is an empty div. That's basically what it is. We can go into more details with that, but just I wanted to point that out to you. So I'll clear this out for now and be more clear later. So now I'm going to set that L property and I'm going to make sure I have jQuery loaded. Okay, I have jQuery. And I'm going to also make sure I have backbone. I'm going to open this HTML tab here. And I'm going to make sure, the other thing too is you have to remember the source order is really important when you're doing this. Uh, you have to have jQuery first, then underscore and backbone. If you have it in the other kind of order, uh, you won't be able to do the DOM manipulation that backbone wants to do. So it's very important. And then I'm going to create an element here in HTML. I'm going to call it div ID hello. And I'm going to also add some extra elements in here, so bear with me. I'm going to add a button called click me. And I'm going to say click me. And I'm also going to put an input of type text with a value of zero. We'll close that out. We'll close out our div hello. So now I'm going to target that div using jQuery. And just like CSS for jQuery, use pound. And then you also write the name of the ID. If it was a class, then we would change this to a dot notation, right? Ooh, can't type. But that is my class for targeting a class. Right now, we just want to target an ID. So we've got our L. Now, let's go ahead and also initialize. We have that function just like we did with model in our view. We can say, console log, not uppercase, view created. Okay. So, we'll go ahead and run this. And there we go, we got our view. View was created, we created a new view here. Uh, let's do something more interesting than just saying view created. We'll say console log, and we'll say this.l. And we'll run it again. This time, when I say I get that view created, but now I also get the L property, this.l. You can see here that this L is of type HTML div element, which is really exactly what we're talking about. And down here in this long list of HTML element properties, we have an ID called hello. So that's how we know we, tar know we targeted the right element. And we have that inner HTML too for the click me and the input type of value zero. So far, so good.